So this is a tutorial on how to navigate Google Classroom as a student a learner from your tablet or your mobile device. So firstly, you need to have an email address that you will use to access Google Classroom. Um, I recommend a Gmail account. And then you need to download the Google Classroom app from your App Store. So the, for the first time when you enter the Google Classroom, you would recognize that it would ask you to enter your email address that you want to use to sign up. I previously signed up with my email address and so it will take me to this screen. This is where you would get to once you sign, sign up with your email address. On the, on the current screen, you're recognizing that there, is, there are several things, a few things really, and a plus sign at the top right hand side that's going to be very important for you to enter your class. I'm about to enter join a grade 10 EDPM class and the teacher would have provided me with the code as your teacher would have provided you with the code for the class. So you click join class. You will type your code here or paste the code um, that the teacher provided. For me, I am pasting because I copied it from the place it was provided and you select join. It's it's joining. Now that I've joined the class, I come to a main screen where this screen is actually called a stream and it works like your social media timeline. Everything that's happening in this class, everything teacher has ever posted would be in this area. The welcome message and all other assignments. If I want to submit an assignment or I want to see what is outstanding, there are two things I could do. I could go to the classwork section here where I would see all the pieces that are um, that have ever been assigned for me to complete. Now in this section you'll see a PowerPoint video task is there, a poster is there, a business card, a background on a PowerPoint slide and if I want to know what the instructions are concerning these these pieces all I will need to do is to select by tapping on these items. So let us start let us start with a poster. So that assignment, it says, as you're seeing, a poster straight out of Holland, it says 15 points. That means that's what the teacher will award you for successfully completing the piece. Um, you're also seeing create a poster for straight out of Holland 2021 and attach below. In the bottom part of the screen where you're seeing um, your work, add private comment assigned, there is the head of an arrow that you will have to swipe upwards to access the screen where you will have to submit your work. Now, you, you, when you click on the plus sign, you have several options that you can use to submit your poster or whatever work the teacher would have assigned. You could attach from your Google Drive. You could get a link, could be a link to a, a website where you have the, the responses or a YouTube channel or somewhere. It also could be a file that you're uploading from your device. You could take a picture, you could record a video, and you could actually um, prepare the, the response by selecting any of these new documents and typing up your answer there. We will use um, upload, which is a file from my device. So I'd have to search through my device to identify the piece that is my poster and I'll select. So that's my, that's my poster. So you'd have had to complete it first so that you can attach it for um, turning in. So it's been attached currently. Once it's attached, all right, so I'll have to go back to attaching. All right, so I will go back to attaching. Sorry about that. I had a connection issue. So the piece is being attached currently. Once it's attached, you will see it appearing in the screen with an X right next to it. And that means you could remove it if it were the wrong piece that was attached. Once you're comfortable with that, there you could click the turn in button or you could attach something else if the assignment required more than one attachment. You could also type a note to your teacher um, in the section that says add private comment. Your teacher would be the only person to see this comment. Maybe you're late with the assignment and you want to apologize. Then you click the turn in button. 
and that asks if you want to submit. I, it says resubmit because I previously had submitted something. So I will click um, resubmit. That resubmit button tells you that you could attach, you could submit an assignment more than once. What if you accidentally submitted the wrong piece and you click turn in, but you go in and you want to reverse the, the process? You could do that. So you're seeing the unsubmit button and I could unsubmit there and it would remove the piece. Now that I've attached my assignment, I, I will use the arrow to just swipe down and go back to the classwork stream to see what else I have to complete there are other things I have to complete. For example, I have a business card to complete. So I could click on that and again it's telling me business card five points and it's asking me to add a comment or um, I swipe up again and it gives me the section where I could add my response. I previously um, added um, the response for my business card which was created in documents but I probably want to add another version of it just in case it's not able to open by my teacher. So I could click add attachment again and here I could take a photograph and if I click on photograph it would activate my camera. So I do that. It activates the camera. I take a photograph. Say this on my business card. Well this is really a towel but <laughs> yes. So I could take a photograph of it and I say okay. And it's being uploaded to the to respond to the task and once I am through once it's through uploading all I'll have to do as I showed you earlier is to click the turn in button you must pay attention when you get to the classwork section uh, pay attention to your deadlines those are very important I'll show you somewhere else where you can go to see um, what is outstanding once you're through you press press um, turn in and you could resubmit your your task once I'm through submitting I will swipe down and I'll go back to my main screen to see what else I need to do and I could repeat this process to complete all my assignments the the people tab at the bottom right hand side is where I, you would click to see all your other classmates who are in the class as well as your teacher at the top left hand corner when I click on that option it exposes all the classes that I would be a part of if I click on that I would see the classes that I would have joined and since I only joined one class that is why I'm only seeing one class here I click on that again at the top left hand corner and we're also seeing something else I want you to look at they have the calendar calendar is um, where you have important dates you have notification just as it would work on social media so when I when I exit the class currently if teacher posted anything when I got when I get back into the application um, it and I go into notifications it will show me what were po what were the things posted um, bef uh, since I last entered the class I click on that top left hand side option again and I could see to do and to do really exposes me to the things the items I have not yet responded to and it and um, on the right hand side where you see done it shows me all the pieces that I have already turned in. And that's that's pretty much um, what it is like to work in Google Classroom as a, a learner. All the best.